So one of the activities to help us celebrate and remember Pentecost that I have is to make a wind sock. Uh, and if you remember, uh, the Holy Spirit came down in our story today on Pentecost and it was uh, sounded like a mighty rushing wind, um, hence wind sock. And then also like tongues of fire appeared um, over people's heads, allowing them to speak in languages that they had never learned before and to speak uh, to those people in those languages, uh, telling others about Jesus uh, in a way that they could understand. And so to help us remember that, uh, one of the craft activities is to make a wind sock. And so what you'll need for this is some red paper. If you don't have red paper, you could use other colors that are, you know, similar shades to, you know, what you would consider fire, or you could use white paper and color it red. Uh, and then you will need to cut out a shape of a dove. And I will include a link to a coloring page. It's really easy to cut out uh, for that or trace. And you will need glue or uh, tape uh, to attach your things and then you can be as creative as you want you could color more things on this to help you remember our uh, lesson about Pentecost from Acts 2 and then you will also need something to hang from the bottom of your windsock so I used uh, crepe paper or streamers and I cut them in half for my windsock Maybe you have yarn laying around uh, and you could use that and then attach beads to it. Uh, be as creative as you want to or need to be for that. I, I also encourage you to uh, glue everything that you need to and tape your streamers on the back side of your paper before you curl it up. Uh, it makes it a whole lot easier to attach things. I made the mistake of not doing that. So I encourage you to do that. And then once you have everything on here, and if you tape everything in the bottom or glue it, then you will make a circle and you will glue that or tape it together. I used staples uh, because it was easier. And then you will need something to punch uh, holes with. I have a hole puncher here and you will punch two holes in the top of your windsock. Like so. And then you will need some sort of string to string through here because a windsock doesn't do any good if you don't have a way to hang it. So you will attach yarn or string, something that you can use to hang it with, and you're gonna string it through uh, the holes that you just punched and tie a knot uh, around that so it does not go anywhere. And I pre-knotted the one end of my string. It made it a lot easier. So then once you knot it, you will then have your hanger. Mine's a little bit long, so you might take time to adjust it. Uh, but there you go. There's your windsock uh, to remind you about Pentecost and the sound of the Spirit coming down like a rushing wind and tongues of fire appearing. So there is your craft.